Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector. This is my dog, Dan. Hi. We are in Las Vegas, the home of the UFC and the mecca of MMA. In our opinion, and we've talked about this uh, before. What do you got, dog? Yeah, we, we both agree on this. Um, they go out there and, and finish a fight early in the first round. But don't get caught speeding. <laughs> don't get caught speeding on this fight. <laughs> They're against a guy who, who just had a, got bit by a dog with rabies or something. For me, it's a do not bet. And uh, betting advice, do not bet. But it's going to be one of those things, guys. I really, I really feel it. It's unanimous. MMA dogs have spoken. Five star. And it's, uh, that's going to be a knockout. Just something to highlight the night. MMADogs.com. MMADawgs.com. Now let's take a look at a heavyweight matchup that in a lot of people's eyes and a lot of people's minds would have been or some people still believe, like my dog Dan, that it could happen. And so we want to take a look at it, uh, give it the, uh, the, the, the respect it deserves, the, the time to, that it deserves. So with Fedor, we have arguably the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. And, I mean, this guy was just a, a wrecking ball. I mean, this guy was just a macho man going in there, going for the finish, you know, no, no, um, he, he's going in there with a game plan, but not a, a you know, I'm going to hold you down or I'm going to clinch up with you against the cage and, and ride out the 15 or 25 minutes or 10 minutes or however long the round is so that I can win. No, he's going in there to, to actually finish the fight, to do something with it, to actually make something happen. And we saw it endlessly with knockouts, submissions, uh, uh, injuries. I mean, just put people, putting people to sleep and, and, um, just a just a real a real talent a real treat to watch in MMA in MMA history and uh, just just has a lot of tools a lot a, a ton of tools at his at his exposure you know in, inside the octagon or inside the the ring or the cage or, or you know all of the different places he fought uh, inside of the uh, of the bear's cave or, or the lion's den I mean this guy's <laughs> wherever wherever <laughs> it took place uh, in the cold water and in, in, in the freezing winter whatever you know he he brought it and. Um, and then we've got the, the, the new age here, Cain Velasquez, you know, just an absolute savage of a beast of a guy with, with, with the wrestling credentials. And not only with, with the credentials, but actually making those, those, those accolades and that stuff actually happen inside the octagon, actually, and improve upon it. I mean, it's just, just a, if we could see this matchup, if we could somehow uh, get Marty McFly to, to let us borrow the, the Back to the Future <laughs> car and you can put him in Doc there. Doc Brown and Marty and, and McFly. Yeah, they put these guys in there and put them in those cars and then meet in their prime. Oh, my God. That would be... that. They could fill up uh, the Cowboys Stadium 100,000 no, 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 plus. No, 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 no. They would do this fight in Mexico or Russia. You can be guaranteed that that uh, that if Kane was going to fight and he was defending the title, it would be in Mexico. And uh, if it was they just can make, they, okay, fine. They can make it at, at Mexico City at a Azteca Stadium. Over a hundred thousand people could fit in there, and it would be just something. Uh, probably the, the highest grossing pay per view. I mean, it would be something incredible. Um, so, this is a very very interesting matchup. I mean, we've seen Velasquez be put to sleep by uh, Junior Dos Santos. Now. You can take a look and see that you know Velasquez was injured, but so was Dos Santos. You can take a look. Well, he wasn't prepared. Well, you know, it's just it's just kind of like you know back and forth. Hindsight's twenty twenty. And then with Fedor, you know, we know whether he came in with an injury or not. We would never hear an excuse from him. So that would be a very very interesting matchup. Something that I wish, like I said, we could put them in the in the time machine and and make it happen. So those are my thoughts on it, Dan. What do you think? Yeah, dog. Arguably the two greatest heavyweights of all time, and if the fight actually happened, arguably the greatest uh, potential yes. fight of all time in yeah. any division. Because you know, um, heavyweights they go out there and they just put on they just put on uh, awards, mm -hmm. and uh, these these two um, are are definitely uh, the top uh, at the top of their division at some point or another, and are still arguably. Um, even though they they have had uh, defeats, you can say that arguably they uh, uh, the best fighters learn from defeats and come back. We had Cain Velasquez avenge his loss to Junior Dos Santos twice, and being the first man to stop Junior um, by uh, by TKO um, in the fifth round of, of a of a title fight in an epic trilogy. And uh, you have Fader, 
who had a trilogy of, uh, of losses towards the end of his career and, uh, you know, kind of came out on the, on the brighter note of that before he um, uh, basically Chuck Liddell's himself into retirement. But, um, but a lot of people would say, oh, well, Fedor, uh, his three losses came to guys that were in the UFC, uh, currently in the UFC. And, um, and a lot of people would say that, well, who's to say that Fedor doesn't come in like Overeem or Josh Barnett? Or and, and win a fight or two and then lose, or or who's to say that Fedor doesn't just put those trio of losses in uh, in Strike Force behind him because you know Strike Force uh, is defunct now it's it's in the past and who's to say Fedor doesn't like start a new era if he if he came in now obviously we're we're thinking of of the prime Fedor that fought back in Pride and just just put together ten years of wins um, and, and and to do that in the heavyweight division is just a really um, um, impressive uh, thing to look at, and so you know, Cain Velasquez um, probably has uh, the the new era of the potential to do that. Um, you know, but uh, you know, with uh, with Fedor, he's got uh, he's got the uh, you gotta you gotta think that Fedor has the um, the thought he's, he's going to continue to have the hype until Velasquez um, basically um, does what Fedor does if he if he if he ever gets the chance to. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think it would be a great fight. And uh, to be honest, I can kind of see um, why Fedor wouldn't want to because he knows he's not in his prime anymore. Um, I don't think Velasquez would back out, and I think uh, for the UFC fans, it would be a win regardless of the outcome of this fight. I mean, it could be it could be an absolute. Um, First round knockout, like um, like uh, we saw with uh, Overeem and Brock Lesnar, or it could be a war like we saw with Bigfoot and Mark Hunt. I mean, we don't, we have, who could have, who could, who could really call who's going to win this fight? If you think you know the answer, comment below. We'll get a good discussion going, and uh, go ahead and share the video and send it to your friends, and uh, see what they think also. Now we've talked a little bit about it. You can check out our website. It's mmadawgs.com. You can see our track record there. In the last 34, last 34 UFC events, we have tracked every single pick. The five-star picks are undefeated. They're 100%. The four-star picks are right around 85%. And the three-star picks are right around 60%. So, you know, you can pick your poison there, see which one, which one you like. And then uh, we're doing a special deal right now. Uh, it's a special promo. Sometimes it'll be there. Sometimes it just depends on, on, on the, the time and season. But it's uh, early bird price. So if you're interested in betting on MMA and you want to get your feet wet and you want to see what it's all about, we offer a price, 20 bucks. It's not a, it's not a bad deal at all. And then uh, we also have a regular on, online price, which is, you know, 35 bucks, a good deal too. And so, yes, check out the website. If you guys have any questions, feel free to, to comment down here or also um, shoot us an email. We've got our information on there. You know, you can explore the site, check out all the different things. And that, that sums it up. So thank you for tuning in, and hopefully we'll talk to you guys real soon. You got money on them, say. If you know who going win, say. M-M-A. No.